Welcome to the Go To Book Club. I'm Steven Nunez, and today I am thrilled to talk about a book that captures the excitement and joy when programming Phoenix Live View. Uh, programming Phoenix Live View. That's the book. Uh, I'm joined today by its co-authors, Bruce Tate and Sophie De Benedetto. So what is Live View? It is a real-time web development framework that is incorporated into the Phoenix web development framework, which is Elixir's web development framework. How many times will I say web development framework? Live View makes functional programming relevant to web development because up until I think even more recent versions of Live View, which makes it such a compelling choice for teams, companies, organizations, we didn't really have a go-to web dev framework beyond Phoenix, which it really is just an extension of that. I would say two things. I would say that the first thing is that beautiful applications first have to depend on beautiful technology with beautiful abstractions. But second, they really depend more on beautiful design than any you know punch list of features. So I think that that's super important. And the second thing is that I believe that every good, every good course, every good book, every good conference talk that I've ever done has talked about design and abstractions because those are the hard things to read from the pages of, of internet documentation. I think the actor model is very much the principle of live view. Instead of like Rails magic, which abstracts away a lot of the internals of how a web application or a web server works in an object-oriented language, you get this kind of OTP magic. Even in uh, Programming Erlang by Joe Armstrong, he talks about abstracting away interacting with a web socket and it's all actor model it's all otp and when you look in, and dive into the internals of uh live view you get the same kind of feeling that it's like we're just interacting with the central state and then how we render it is a bit different yeah i mean generators i think are part of the compelling story of not just live view but phoenix in general um they are opinionated i think but not too opinionated we had functional composition in a functional language and it was really beautiful and live view just extends that model to rather than having a request response framework live view supports a single page framework so that we go through this this one long chain of plugs we um, we get to a point where we say hey this is a live view and then Phoenix loads the page, returns the page, and there's a little bit of pre-written JavaScript on that page that says establish a connection on a straight HTTP socket. And then from that point on, we're doing one of three things. SEO is something that you mentioned, and I think it was one of the biggest concerns um, that Chris McCord and the team addressed, even at the very beginning, kind of baked into the very nature of the LiveV paradigm, because of course, without SEO, absolutely no one will use your web development framework for your single page apps. A lot of books that are covering a framework are just trying to teach you enough to, this is kind of how it works. Here's your mount function. Here's your render function. You guys go the extra mile, and I want to understand what the thinking is behind that. So let's say you're building some sort of Spotify type web app and you've got a bazillion songs to send down to the client um, or to make available to the user in some way and to allow them to interact with. Um, Live View always strove to minimize data transfer and make that communication as efficient as possible. What I love about this book is that it is building an application in action. I know I'm kind of like hearkening to another book series, but uh, seeing it in motion, essentially, right? Let's build a thing, let's ideate, let's design and kind of like go through it. Every time that I identify something that I wish Live View could do, uh, it then will do within like a matter of days or weeks. At one level, Elixir is about reduce. And at another level, Elixir is all about what it is in every functional language. It's this ability to manage uncertainty. It's it's dealing with the worst word in a programmer's language, which is maybe. Subscribe to the GoTo YouTube channel now and join the experts in person or online at any upcoming GoTo conference using the promo code BOOKCLUB. Visit gotopia.tech to learn more.